solve for x. And we have the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is equal to 11. Now the, the big, I guess, insight you need to have whenever you have an absolute value equation like this is just to remember, if I have, if I have the absolute value of a is equal to 11, what do we know about a? That means that a is either 11, that means that a is equal to 11, or what else could a be? Well, it could be negative 11. a could be equal to negative 11, because there's two possible a's that are exactly 11 away from 0. It could be positive 11, or it could be negative 11. That's the exact same logic you apply to an equation like this. If the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is equal to 11, that means that the stuff inside the absolute value sign either equals 11, or the stuff inside the absolute value sign is equal to negative 11. Because if this is equal to 11, the absolute value of 11 is 11. If this thing over here is equal to negative 11, when you take its absolute value, it'll still be equal to 11. So let's write that down. So 2x minus 5 could be equal to 11. Or, or 2x minus 5 could be equal to negative 11. Right, Because in either case, if you took its absolute value, you would get 11. Now let's just solve each of these equations. Over here, we can add 5 to both sides. We can add 5 to both sides of this equation. We get 11 plus 5 is 16. 2x minus 5 plus 5 is just 2x. 2x is equal to 16. Divide both sides by 2. We get x is equal to 8. Now let's do this situation. 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 11. Let's add 5 to both sides of this equation. The left-hand side, we just get a 2x. The 5's cancel out. 2x is equal to negative 5 plus 11. That's negative 6. Negative 6. Now we can divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. And we get x is equal to negative 3. So we've gotten two solutions, depending on whether this thing in here is either equal to 11 or negative 11. We got x could be equal to 8, in which case 2x minus 5 would be 11. Or we have x is equal to negative 3, in which case 2x minus 5 is equal to negative 11. Let's, let's verify it. So if x is equal to 8, let's, let's show that it satisfies this equation. So we'd get 2 times 8 minus 5. The absolute value of 2 times 8 minus 5 should be equal to 11. 2 times 8 is 16, minus 5 is 11. So we have the absolute value of 11 should be equal to 11. And we know that's true. Ele the absolute value of 11 is 11. So it all works out. Now let's try it with x is equal to negative 3. We get the absolute value of 2 times negative 3 minus 5 should be equal to 11. So what's 2 times negative 3? 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 5, the absolute value of that should be equal to 11. Well, negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. So the absolute value of negative 11 should be equal to 11. And it is. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11. So we get 11 is equal to 11. So they both work.